Hi guys, on this beginner's course, you're gonna learn how to use Logic by making a full track with us, step by step, from start to finish. And this, of course, is gonna help you in the future make your own tracks. So, let's get started. No So this is going to be loads of fun guys and the first few lessons are free so let's get on. Don't worry about this window here we're going to be coming on to software instruments and audio tracks all a bit later on. And rather than take you through every single button up here and what all these windows do you'll be learning all this as we go along and build this track together so don't worry about that as well. A couple of things I want to do though just before we get started I want you to go to your preferences so go to Logic Pro preferences and then audio and just make sure that under input device and output device you've chosen your own sound interface or your sound card and if it's if you haven't got one just choose built in and the other really important thing to do is just go to advanced and make sure these are all ticked so enable all down the bottom this means that we'll get the full functionality of logic pro close the window and just change the BPM, that's the speed of the track we're going to make together, to 124. Now you can click and drag up or down. Or you can double click and type in the value there. Press return. 124 BPM. Okay, let's get started. We want to bring a sound into our project. This is going to be a kick drum. And you can either come up to the right hand side, this icon here. And when I hover over it, it says browsers, F, F is the shortcut. So you can either click this here or press F on your keyboard to open or close the browser. And we're gonna to go to all files and this is all the files we see on our computer. Just very quickly, Apple does come with its own loops and samples. It's just the button next to that one, it's called loop browser. And you can get to that by pressing O. But we're not going to worry about that we're going to bring in our own samples but i just wanted to make sure you knew that was there so we do provide all the samples in the work files if you've purchased the course if you're watching this on youtube there's a link underneath the video to some of the samples enough to get you started so just navigate to wherever you've downloaded that folder mine's on the desktop under logic beginner audio and these are all the samples we're going to need to complete this full track together when i click on a sample it's going to play it and we've got a volume control down the bottom if that's too loud. You can also click on the loudspeaker to play a sample. So to get a little bit more space in the middle, I'm just gonna resize this section here, just by clicking and dragging the side of that. And let's get the kick and drag it into our project. So click and drag, anywhere will do for now. And let's close the browser, either click it up here or press F. So we've got a kick drum in our project, but it's quite small now. So let's show you where the zoom functions are. Top right hand corner, we've got zoom functions. Click and drag here to zoom in horizontally. Click and drag here to zoom in vertically. Or there's quick zoom buttons here. You've got bars and beats at the top here, so I'll just zoom out a touch and show you that we've got bar two, bar three, bar four, bar five, etc. And when we zoom in, we've got the individual beats. And the more you zoom in, the more you can see the different beats, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, etc. Let's have a look at snap. Snap means snap to the grid. I'm just gonna put this on bar, so this obvious. So whenever I move or copy a piece of audio, it's now only gonna let me snap to the bar. So it will only let me put this down here on three or four. It won't let me put it in between. We can change this to beat. Then we can go on each beat. There's four beats in the bar. If we're working at four, four time signature, which we are. And obviously you can go finer control with division and ticks and frames as well. Some people have it on smart and smart just means that logic will try and guess what division you want but I find beat is best so just leave it on beat. 
We're going to start at bar five because we'll be adding an intro to this song a bit later on. Just going to scroll along by using the bottom scroll slider. And I'm now going to copy this kick so we don't have to keep dragging it in. We can just copy this kick over four times. So to copy in Logic, you hold down the Option or Alt key and you click and drag. Let's just zoom in a bit. I'll just show you another way to zoom in, by the way. Hold down the Apple or Command key and use your arrow keys. So I'm now using my right key with Apple held down and it's zooming in horizontally. You can also do up and down as well, of course. So let's just copy this over, hold down Alt or Option and click and drag. Now I can highlight two and click and drag again. And let's play what we've got. You can click and drag the playhead. This is where the project will start playing from and press spacebar to play, or you can come up here and use these controls up here. Okay, we've just played four kicks in a row, obviously. It's all a bit loud at the moment. What's really important is to turn the first element in your track down, because you don't want to be on high volume with only one instrument. You can see we're on yellow, and it's just touching the red as well up here on the master volume, also over here as well on the meter. So we're going to be adding in lots more tracks later on in this song, and therefore all the volumes are going to sum together, and it's going to cause distortion and clipping. So we don't want that. So the best practice is just to turn this right down, maybe minus 10 as a rough guide on the very first instrument that you bring in, which in this case is a kick drum. This now gives us plenty of headroom to bring in all the other tracks. We will be coming to the mixer a bit later, but I'll just show you if you just press this button here, which is the mixer button. This is where we're gonna mix all our instruments together later on. And we've got a nice healthy signal there. Not too loud, not too quiet. Now we don't wanna keep moving this playhead around. We want this to loop. So what you can do, so get your cursor and make sure it turns into a, not this arrow, because that's to move the playhead. Just come up to where number five is and you can just click and drag. So this is a one bar loop, five to six. The cycle has automatically been switched on for us. It just means loop or cycle. And you can turn this on and off here and it goes yellow when it's on. So press play here or spacebar to play this loop from five to six and it will loop round. And you can turn off cycle with C and we'll be doing that a lot in this course. So command left to zoom out a little bit, scroll over and we're just gonna copy these over till we get to bar 13, so we're going to go from bar 5 to bar 13. So highlight highlight all four just by clicking and dragging over them all. Option to copy. There is a way to duplicate these, I'll be showing you those later on, but for now we'll click Option again and copy. And one more time should do the trick for us. So there we have 5 to 13. All our kicks are ready now. Rather than having to set the region manually all the time, what you can do is highlight the region you're working on, press U on the keyboard, and it will automatically set the cycle region to however long the region you're working on is. Just whatever you've got highlighted. So if I highlight only that many and press U, it will do that many. Later on in the course, I'll be showing you how to bring in audio a different way so rather than dragging it into the project and the arrangement window which is what we've done i'll be showing you how to load it into a sampler and there's a lot more benefits that come with the sampler track and we'll be doing that later on in the coming lessons we're going to be adding a lot more drums obviously not just having a kick drum we'll be having snares claps open hats closed hats lots and lots of melodies recording vocals recording guitar adding effects and tons and tons of more stuff so this has been a really, really super simple lesson one. We want to keep things simple to start with. And in the next few lessons, we're going to be looking at melodies and chords and like I say, making more drums as well. So hope that's been useful for you guys. 
If you're watching on YouTube, please give it a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.